The next problem I'd like to use analytical geometry and calculus to prove something we figured out a long time ago, perhaps in a trigonometry class, and that is that the area of a triangle is one half times the base times the height of the triangle. So let's take an analytical geometry approach to this and use calculus to prove this for all triangles. Let's start by the following. So I define an axis system, in this case a Cartesian coordinate system. Now I define the base of my triangle right here on the x-axis. I define the height of my triangle right here, and that's h. So I've got a right triangle in this case and now I want to go ahead and apply some calculus. So, I can view this as a, just another curve. So y equals f at x. And we know from calculus that if we want to find the area under a curve, all we have to do is the following. Area equals the integral of f at x times dx. So let's put it all together and see if this holds true. So we're going to integrate from 0 x equals 0 to x equals b, the base of this triangle. What's our function? Well, our function is just a straight line. y equals m times x plus some constant. Okay. In this case, because we're passing through the origin, there is no constant. So y is equal to h over b times x. Now, how did I get that? Well, this is the slope of the line, and the slope is just the rise which is h, over the run, which is b, the base of this triangle, b. So this is equal to my slope. Okay. I can plug my function in here, so this is really just f at x is equal to h over b times x. I can plug that into my equation here from calculus, and I can say h over b times x times dx is the integral that will give me the area and what I'm looking for here is the area under this curve. Let's integrate. So we get h over b times x squared over 2 between limits of integration of 0 and b. Now the constant term h over b, those are constants, they can be pulled out. We see that a equals h over b times b squared over 2 minus 0 squared over 2. Okay, so a is equal to h over b times b squared over 2. Well, this b cancels that, and we get 1 half base times height. And that's the exact formula we were taught when we started in trigonometry. So by applying calculus theorems, we can go ahead and arrive at and confirm what we were taught in trigonometry.